How's it going, everybody? Topher Welsh here for VideoHive.net and VisualFXTuts.com. So, a lot of you guys have probably been seeing my articles on VideoHive, as well as AE Tuts Plus and CG Tuts Plus. But what you also might not know is I am also a moderator on the VideoCopilot.net forums. So, moderating topics and stuff, I always see a lot of... Um, no offense to anyone, but noobish question, questions, you know. How to save is, how to save a video file with an alpha channel embedded is one of those noobish questions that I hear all the time, and that is what we are going to visit today. I got this nice uh, little green screen footage that I had on an impromptu green screen shoot. It was a little marketing video for Julia's Floral. Note my sweet duct taped green screen and tacked to the wall and my jimmy rigged lighting um don't judge me we all got our own ways and methods but what we're going to do is we are going to take this and save this with an alpha channel and bring it into premiere and i'll show you that it, you know it saves with transparency so what we're going to do is we're going to bring our footage down here into our comp our comp by the way is 1280 by 720 square pixels, 29.97 frame rate. It's only about seven seconds long. That's all we really need. So, first off, I'm just going to make a quick little garbage mat here. Get these little tacks out of the way. And there we go. Nice garbage mat. We're going to do effect, keen, key light. We're going to pick our color. We're going to go into the screen mat. And I'm just going to plug in a couple numbers. 30 and 60 work. I did this earlier, so kind of know what I'm doing already. Then we are also going to add an adjustment layer by going Layer, New, Adjustment Layer. And then apply a color correction curves. To this the reason we're not going to add it to the actual clip is because we have a key light effect affecting the color so if we were to change the color on the clip it would actually change the key so we're going to just add the adjustment layer over the top of the keyed layer so we're just going to bring our contrast up a little bit there you go she looks a little bit more you know not sunburnt so Okay, so this is our, you know, finished layer. We can uh, look at this. And something worth noting here, if you look at your screen mat, you have, uh, like, this is what your foreground is, and then this is what it, whatever is going to be transparent. So if anything's gray, it's semi-transparent. So it kind of gives you an idea. And I'll... Uh, I'm going to visit this again in just one second, if you bear with me. I'm going to go back into final result here. We're going to send this to the render queue by going Composition, Make Movie. We're going to go into the Output module and choose for the Format, QuickTime, Format Options. Make sure that we choose Animation because Animation is probably the most lossless codec that you can go with, especially if you're going to be bringing... Uh, um, full color passes. You don't want to lose any quality, especially if you're working with keyed footage. So we're just going to choose animation. And then here in the channels, this is what I'm going to revisit right here. We have RGB and then we have alpha. Your RGB is actually your foreground, which was white. And then your alpha, if you were to choose just alpha, it would render this out as white and then this out as black. If you have RGB, it renders this all out as one movie, and it doesn't recognize the alpha channel at all. So what we're going to want is RGB plus alpha, so we can get this foreground color nice and rich, and then whatever is black in the background, whatever was keyed out, will be transparent. So we're going to hit OK, and I've already rendered this out, so we're just going to go clickety-click and pretend like I rendered it. And so we're going to jump into Adobe Premiere, I'm going to double click in here, and I'm just going to show you that this came in all nice and keyed. Drag this into our video layer. You see her right there, there's Julia doing a little talking thing. And then let me just bring some random picture in here. 
you can see that, you know, she is actually transparent behind her. We can, you know, go into the effects here and just scale this up a little bit. You can see, you know, she's completely transparent behind her. So this is what you can use if you're going to be bringing uh, keyed out clips just to, you know, put a really generic background in and like Premiere or, um, you know, anything for that matter. You could shoot products on green screen and key them out and render out passes that way. Or even if you want to generate proxies to bring in to here. So I could just bring my Julia clip into this, open that up, and here we go. We got a brilliant little Julia clip here, and see? She's transparent behind. So I hope this has been informative and educational for you guys, and I hope to be bringing some more of these nice little quick tips your way soon. Again, check out my website, visualfxtuts.com, and uh, stay tuned for all my articles at videohive.net, as well as cgtutsplus.com, or, well, cg.tutsplus.com, and ae.tutsplus.com. Uh, I am Topher Welsh, and I will see you guys in the next tutorial slash article. Later!